So at this point, we have prepared our MongoDB instance and verified that we can connect to it successfully. So as the next step, I'll show you how to generate a new Micronaut project from scratch. Of course, you have a various ways to do that. You can do that with curl, you can do that with um, CLI, but in this episode, I'll show you how to do that with Micronaut launch page, which is pretty similar to Spring Initializer if you've ever been working with Spring Boot before. As the first step, let's open a web browser and type in Google Micronaut launch in the search bar. Right here, we can see the Micronaut IO page, which is the official page of Micronaut framework. So let's click on this one. As I mentioned, this is pretty similar to Spring Initializer. And right here, we can verify what type of application we would like to do. For the application type, I'll use Micronaut application. Java version, I'll bump to 17. Name, you can specify whatever name you would like to go with. As the base package, I'll put com.coderc of my block. For the Micronaut version, I'll go with the latest stable language. Let's switch to Kotlin, build tool, Gradle Kotlin, test framework, we can leave it as it is. Additionally, let's specify a couple of features, uh, exactly two features, so let's search for Mongo. For the purpose of this course, mini course, we'll need two features. First one, which will add support for synchronous driver. And the second one, which will add support for synchronous data repositories, which are really useful and help us uh, really speed up, speed up the development when working with MongoDB. If you would like to add anything else, then you can specify and search for the necessary features right here. For me, it's done. I'm okay with that. You can preview the file to verify what exactly will be generated right here or simply generate project. Mm, as I mentioned previously, with Micronal, we can set up a new project in a couple of ways, including, for example, with IntelliJ IDEA. Right here, you can see the commands for CLI or the curl command to use uh, to generate a project of such a type. Nevertheless, let's click generate and download the zip file. Let's hit show in folder and right here extract also that it will be extracted to the same folder for me. This is the downloads folder. As the next step, let's open up IntelliJ IDEA and wait until it's opened. On this page, hit open users, coder C, downloads, oh, sorry. And right here we have the whatever. IntelliJ helps you to select the appropriate folder with this small black um, icon next to it. Let's hit OK and trust this particular project or alternatively you can select to trust all project. Right now, Gradle is syncing, downloading the necessary dependencies. So let's well wait a while once again. So after some time, we'll see that the sync process is finished. We should see the green um, icon right here if everything is successful. And before we finish this video, let's actually do one more thing. So as the first step, let's open up SRC main resources and open up the application YAML file. This is the config file which we can adjust for our needs. And that's what I would like to do now. Let's specify a new line and configure the connection to MongoDB, MongoDB, URI, and right here, MongoDB slash slash localhost. This is uh, for our localhost machine, the port that we've previously exposed in our container slash some db. This way we point directly to what exactly database um, our application should use. You can leave the defaults or just like me specify some new one 
Of course, when we'll persist some document into our collection later, it will be automatically created. Don't worry if you go now to MongoDB Compass and don't see this one. Finally, let's verify if everything is working as expected. Let's go to application and right here, click on this green icon. Again, the build is happening. And after some time, we can see that startup is completed and the server is running at the specified address. The default one is 8080. That's all for this video. And again, see you in the next one.